Baldwin County gas station opened once again today, folks, after a man intentionally crashed his truck into that station on Sunday. And according, this is all according to the Paulding County Sheriff's Office. Now, the driver of that truck later died at the hospital. 11 Alive Joe Hinkey spoke with a witness today and gives us a look at the damage left behind. Witnesses tell me the truck came down Highway 101 just on the other side of our camera, then drove through the grass where I'm standing right now before going airborne through the gas station sign and finally skidding across the parking lot. The busted sign, brick on the ground, broken glass left behind, and spray paint from investigators recreating the scene. This is what remains of this crash Sunday at Al's Exxon gas station in Yorkville. It could have been a lot worse than what it was. I mean, there could have been a lot of lives that was taken from that wreck, but... There again, God was there to protect all of us. Sonia Gray says on her way to church Sunday, she needed gas, pulled up to the pump, and with her seatbelt still on, the truck came barreling at her and landed on her gray car seen here. I heard a big bang and I turned around and when I did, he was up on the side of my back of my car. And then uh, two seconds later, I heard a gunshot. It happened around 10 a.m. Sunday. A spokesman with the Paulding County Sheriff's Office says a man apparently drove his pickup truck off the road on purpose through the gas station sign and hit multiple vehicles. That is when bystanders went to check on the driver, and according to the Sheriff's Office, the man shot himself. The 30-year-old would be taken to the hospital where he died. It kind of breaks my heart to know that He's done all this and harmed all these other people that was involved in it. The gas station owner today says his security cameras captured the entire incident and he gave his video to investigators with the sheriff's office. The sheriff's office tells 11 Alive they expect to release more information about the incident later this week. Several people were injured, but none had life-threatening injuries. Sonia has strained muscles, back pain, and it hurts to turn her neck. She is waiting to hear if her car is totaled or not, but is thankful to be alive. I can shock, you know, it's just unbelievable. 